only two from the erstwhile perennial winners. Six other clubs, Detroit, Boston's Red Sox, the Chicago White Sox, the New York Giants, Chicago's Cubs, and Cleveland placed one man each, giving the National League five representatives and the American Loop six. But here's the lineup. See if you agree. In left field, Hank Greenberg of the Tigers. Center field, Joe DiMaggio of the Yankees. Right field, Ted Williams of the Red Sox. That's in the outfield. In the infield, Cincinnati's Frank McCormick at first, Joe Gordon of the Yankees at second, Stan Hack of the Cubs at third, and the White Sox, Luke Appling at short. The battery setup lists Harry Danning of the Giants behind the plate and pitchers Bob Feller of Cleveland, Bucky Walters, and Paul Derringer of Cincinnati. An unusually large number from the team of a year ago were displaced. McCormick, Derringer, Hack, and Danning named for the first time, and Greenberg, selected in 1935, and Appling, picked in 36, replaced them. Sports had its drama, too, this week. For some four decades, Willie Hoppy has been known as a champion among champions in the billiards world. But after this week, he is recognized as a champion in still another sense. And with him on a new pedestal of sportsmanship stands Jake Schaefer, the Cleveland challenger for Hoppy's three cushioned. I wasn't after you. You say you love me too. 